Okay, I lied. I decided to do just a wee bit little second vlog today. Um, but yeah, I was saying that I'm doing like a lot more of the, you know, like the chili recipe I put up, you guys, the turkey chili um, with um, refried beans. I bought some um, at Trader Joe's. I got some, I don't think they're fat free, but pretty darn close. Uh, black beans, black, refried black beans. We fly black beans. <laughs> Sound like a moron. Um, but they have jalapenos in it. I'm starting to just totally dig hot and spicy food. Also, I'm just going to note my favorite um, Trader Joe's carrot ginger muffins. There's like five ingredients on here. Um, I believe these are gluten-free too. Yeah, like real baking, uh, baking soda. I'm sorry, real baking soda. Stupid, real ginger. Um, but these are really... Trader Joe's just has awesome food. Thing about these, no preservatives, no chemicals, whatever. So what I do is I stock up on a bunch. I will tell you this in the past. This has been kind of a major thing for me, but I'm getting better with controlling myself. So that's why I said, Kelly, buy yourself some of these and have them in the freezer. You can control yourself. You don't need to eat five at a time, especially because they each have 15 grams of fiber. I've done that. And you can imagine how I felt later. It was not pretty. Also, the other thing, I want you guys to go on my link page, on my link love page. I've added a ton of new bloggers that I'm starting to read. I found some fabulous, um, amazing girls that are doing, you know, some of them are P90X, some of them are more running, some of them are more yoga. Gotten some great recipe ideas from them. Plus, I'm totally down, thanks to Kelly, um, with reading, you know, starting to read instead of just me being boring and reading business books all the time, I'm actually getting some fun reading in. So because of Kelly, I went and got this, and look how my sister's gonna be so proud of me for not buying these books. I went to the library. Um, I got this one, and then I got this one, and what am I reading right now? There's another book in the other room. But um, I love that book, Kelly. Um, you guys, if you want to read a good mystery, I literally, page turner, I couldn't put it down. Um, it's called They Did It With Love. Oh my gosh, great book. Um, so I'm reading that, which I'm really excited about. So check out a lot of the new blogs I have over there. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, here's just my closing thought of the day. Because when I was in Trader Joe's, I'm trying to pack my car out. And obviously everybody's over there shopping for Passover or shopping for Easter. Um, forgive me if Passover already happened. I just learned about that in church on Friday. They gave us a discussion on what Passover is, so I understand, but if it passed, excuse me, I don't know that. But anyway, um, so all these people are shopping, right? And Trader Joe's is a place of love. It's a place where we all get to buy, you know, salsa and muffins. And then I come out and there's this douchebag who I'm trying to back out. You know, you're trying to back out really slowly and clearly, so I'm backing out this way, and she comes like a bat out of hell out of Trader Joe's and just struts her stuff and like walks right behind my car. And when you back out of Trader Joe's on a Saturday, okay, and it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you got to take your moment and back out, okay? And this douchebag comes with her little juicy sweats and is like, and walks right by, I swear to God, I'm not going to lie to you. I had the same thoughts that I have every time I back out of my garage here, which is, I hope I'm going to run over something and hear a big thud, which is usually what I'm thinking is the dog downstairs. I'm not going to lie. If I ran over that thing, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, can I get you a stuffed animal instead? <laughs> so anyway, all that to say, this is only here to open up my muffins. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Uh, tomorrow is Easter. We're also celebrating my birthday and um, everybody else's birthday tomorrow because um, we have like a ton of April birthdays in my family. So yeah, I will be having some sugar tomorrow. So I'm going to get up tomorrow and do some major, major cardio because this is just, you know, some sweets yesterday, a few sweets today, but I did have a kick butt 700, say it Kelly, 700 calorie burner. <sighs> Good time. So I'm gonna go sit and relax. We went to go see Clash of the Titans today. Um, <laughs> yeah, very good movie, awesome movie. That yummy man from um, Avatar, which I still haven't seen yet. And um, what's the other movie? Terminator 3 or 5 or 7, I'm not quite sure. But he was in that. And then all of the previews before this movie, every single movie I wanted to see. I'm kind of a nerd, I really like previews. And I also really get upset when people show up late for movies and walk in and they're looking for seats in the middle when I'm trying to watch the previews. Okay, I'm there to watch the previews. I like the previews. I like how they put it all together. Especially when there's a preview that has Bradley Cooper in it where he doesn't have a shirt on. I'm just saying. 
Don't ruin the moment for me. Why are people late? I'm always early, okay? Everywhere I go, I'm early to church, I'm early to appointments, I'm early to an interview, I'm early anywhere I go. I don't understand people that are late. It's just rude, disrespectful, and you never know what traffic's gonna be like, and you never should be going to a movie and standing there with your popcorn and all of your stuff in the dark going, oh honey, where are we gonna sit? Excuse me, hello, some of us got there 10 minutes before so we could get our popcorn. Not that I eat popcorn because I'm scared of choking on it, but you know, we have our stuff and we're sitting down ready to enjoy the previews. Not having to move my purse and my Starbucks that I snuck in so that you can get your stupid fat ass in front of my, and get in front of my seat. I had two swear words today, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and that's all there is to it.